and welcome to our new EPC Win 7, our most recent version. I will use the next minutes to actually introduce you to the functions that you can use, especially for technical embroidery. I would also recommend check out the other news video. Um, you will, might find something interesting there as well, but this one I'll concentrate on things you can use to optimize your machine output and to get the best quality out of your TFP and your smart textile project. First thing I'd like to show you is aiming at the TFP and the TW project. If you go to the editor, you can actually now trace. Let me just jump forward. So here on the right hand side in the stitch list, you're actually able now to display your angle. So that means if you deliver the fiber from the top, you see when it starts to untangle the z-axis. Here you see now it turns purple. So I put the contra turn up to 290 and here it would now start to untangle the z-axis. That would each time mean that your machine untangles and then continue stitching. So what I can do now as a digitizer, I can already fix it and say, okay, I insert and here I make a contra turn myself. And then you see it's been fixed. So here there would be no more untangling of the z-axis. If it happens that you can't avoid it, but you want to place it to a different stitch, you're now actually able, if I go here and say, actually, I wanted to untangle a few stitches earlier, I can press F12 and say, here, please rotate back. And then you see it would already do it here, and then it will be fine and counts up to the next time where it is being then rotating. This way you can avoid sections in your design that actually slow down the speed of your machine and you have much better control over the outcome and the stitch behavior. Right, another thing is, you see here maybe I work with different needles to have different layers and different colors. Now when you put this on your W head machine, you have only one needle to go, so you would need to get rid of all the needles. Therefore we have a plugin here when you export the files, ZSKTC file. I'm actually able here to skip the needle change. This means you don't need a separate file to get rid of all the needles, just digitize with the amount of needle you need to see your layers. And then as soon as you put it on the machine, you don't have to worry about it anymore. The next thing I would like to introduce you to is here our program 11, our curved fill. This is there for already quite a while, but, but we have worked on it so that you can use it for your TFP project. So first thing, I have my control key and I select the first line, control key second line, and then I press enter. And it automatically, in between these two lines, builds parallel lines and fills a shape. Nice thing about this program is you can go here with your density much higher. So you can place your fibers much further apart. And if I go to my parameters here in F8, you see I have my balloon turn. The nice thing is... The edges, the turning points are actually moved outside, so you don't destroy your shape when you try to go into the next line. You can here say if you want irregular stitch length in between, or if you want just regular stitch length, yeah, six millimeters here. In this area, you can define separate stitch files. In this area and the edge, you can define here how long these stitches should be. Plus, we have here also our preview now, and you can give the parameters a name. This you will actually see is possible in all the different automatic programs, the preview and the name giving. And you will see in the global editor, you're also able to read the names and save them also in your system parameters. If you nevertheless want to use program 14, you also have the advantage now that you're actually able to put the density up to 650. Before this was only possible to 320, now you can go up much higher. And then here, go inside, say you want round turn with three millimeter stitches. You can also create something from a shape. Then one of the biggest features in EPC Win 7, I think, is that you can actually assign the machine parameters to the design. Big advantage because whenever you load this design, you will have the settings you have already predefined. The other way around, if I say set up machine parameters, I can load also from my TC file. So imagine the case you have prepared your design, you run the design on the machine, you figure out your best parameters, you can write it back to the design here. This way you have no loss of information how the machine to set up in the production. So now that I'm in here, I can put the start conditions. Okay. And then it will start with these settings. Now imagine you have reached ply number three. 
Now, before I go over here a third time, I would want the pressure foot to lift. I can now press F12 and say, before you do this, here parameter settings, I now want my parameters for the third ply. Same machine stroke, but a pressure foot higher than before. Okay. Now you see here it will take parameter set 3 of your machine. You can predefine it in the design head. This is just a rough overview of what's new for your technical embroidery. Also check out the other news video on main basic handling of the EPC. Also there is a complete list online where you can scroll through and there will be more features along the year. So keep yourself updated, follow us on Instagram, have a look on the webpage, contact me, I'm Britta from ZSK if you need further information if, or if you have specific questions, I'm happy to help. Until then I wish you all the best, stay healthy, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.